Hey finger freaks, my name is Jest, and I'm back with another gloving video, and this time it's to pay homage to the incredible gloving talent that this gloving community has to offer. Now let's get into it. As finger wigglers, anything remotely resembling a beat will elicit the fidgeting of our phalanges. The ambience of a ticking clock, or the whispering wind, or the drastic din of a faulty fire alarm. Literally anything audible can be enough to set us in motion. Because of this, over the years, Glovers have posted a video to nearly every song in existence. During the last 15 years of internet gloving videos, there have been a certain light show artists that have had such a lasting effect on the songs they chose to glove to that the songs have been deemed retired, like it's Kobe's jersey number. Now while it's true, songs only truly belong to the producers, and anyone can at any time record to any one of these songs again, you know, copyright permitting. After seeing the performance each Glover gave, you'll probably just not want to try to top it. So slap that like button for the top 10 songs you aren't allowed to glove to, and let me know in the comments if you know exactly what I'm talking about, and if you have a submission to this Hall of Fame, make sure you link that show too. Without further ado, we'll start with number 10, The Vell by Deadmau5. The Light Show is by Physic, and Physic was light years ahead of his time. He was performing cluster concepts before digits and dials were even clearly classified. This Light Show was originally published pre-2011 and is still absolutely dookies on the technicality of most shows today. Unfortunately, Physic left the community even before I got seriously involved. My greatest desire to this day is getting a Light Show from the OG puzzle kid, Physic. Do you know Physic? If so, what was your favorite Physic show? Number 9. Nope by E40. Nope. The light show yeah. is by Unknown, but nope. it might probably be Vex. Yeah. Does Vex claim this show? Nope. nope. But is it him? Yes, I know. Yup. Technically speaking, we don't know who this Glover is. Vex claims it's his friend that never posts, but the style, the hand aesthetics, and the body type all match Vex. So while technically it's not Vex and therefore deserves its own spot on the list, in my opinion it's actually just another one of Vex's many shows that simply cannot be outdone. What do you think? Is this Vex? I think so, but please let me know for sure, internet detectives. Number 8 is Lucha by Raw Tech, and the glove show is the Kiwi Amazing video that is featuring Panda. When this show came out, I had it on repeat. Panda has a musicality about his style that screams, I make music, to the point where his moves make you think he is actually making the music by moving. Anyone who dances will tell you this is the epitome of musicality. Panda is a music maker and it shows. If you have a favorite Panda show, please link it because his are timeless. Number 7 is Stay, the Branches Remix, performed by Rapsode. So is that other Glover, who was way too far ahead of his time. His style is a morphological variety of concepts and flow that pushes some very satisfying aesthetic buttons. Rapsode is my original favorite Glover, and his Stay Light show is an exhibition on just why that is. This show will stay in gloving culture and history, and Rapsode will stay one of my top favorite ever to do this art. Who is your favorite Glover? Tell me in the comments. Number 6 is OPR by Gasofelstein. Light show Ravage Glove Set performed by Stunna. Oh boy Stunna. He's the original showman. He's the whippest wonder. He's the whirliest dude in the room. Unfortunately, Stunna was another Glover to retire before my introduction to the community, and it's truly heartbreaking to know that I won't ever be on the receiving end of this man's risk game. The Ravage show still lives in my brain rent-free after 7 plus years. Despite multiple attempts to glove to Gasafelstein, this show still infiltrates my brain during the process to smugly laugh at my attempts to beat match better than Stunna. Spoiler alert, I can't. Unrelated, but lots of people to compare Gasafelstein and Rez. My question is, is, who do you think is more fun to glove to? Gasafelstein or Rez? Number 5 is Banks Warm Water, the Raw Tech Remix, and it's performed by Mumbles, 
in the Got Flow Amazing Lights feature. Mumbles is another Glover that came onto the scene and just absolutely demolished everyone he'd face in competition. This show is actually a few months prior to his 2014 IGC win, and since I watched this video about 169 times since it released, I was less than surprised when Mumbles took home that W. This show asks if he's got flow, and you can tell in the comments whether or not you think he does, but to me the answer to that question lives on forever in the very same video. Number 4 Reasons by Project 46 featuring Andrew Allen, performed by Fry in the Freedom Fry Amazing Lights feature. Ah, Fry, impacting's golden boy. Fry was the reason I personally started taking gloving seriously. While his Prism Light Show was the show that did it for me, this one came out soon after and left a lasting residency of this song in my head, which brings me back to the feeling of wonder each time I hear it. Fry probably has a few more songs that he quote unquote owns, but for the sake of time I'm only going to give him this one. Do you have a favorite impactor? Tell me in the comments. Number three is actually a trifecta. It's Hit Me Up by Dwilly, performed by Materia, Papa Panda, and Cash Town. This project revolves around three Glovers coordinating their editing from three different parts of the world. Each of these Glovers brings their absolute A-game and set their bar extremely high for not only this song, but for storytelling within Gloving projects as well. Materia did an amazing job directing this performance, and his twist at the end made for some lighthearted comedy. What do you think? Number two is Angel Become God by Virtual Self, performed by Puppet in the finals of Light Songs. This is actually versus me in the finals, and oh boy. So this one definitely is tough because I recorded to the exact same song for this competition, and he beat me to take home the $1,500 prize money. Needless to say, he really deserves to own this track, despite the fact that this was also one of my best shows as well. But this isn't about me, it's about Puppet's absolute mastery over technique, timing, and storytelling. He won fair and square, and I fully agree with that result. Do you agree with that outcome? I really won't be offended if the answer is yes. And number one on the list of songs that you can't glove to is actually a list in and of itself. Because it's virtually any video by Vex since 2016. Specifically, the songs Coming Over by Dylan Francis and Kygo, Feelings Fade by Nash, Plug Balk by Rich the Kid, Loss by Player 4, Slip In by Bleep Bloop, and Blind Heart, the Prince Fox remix. Vex is the best Glover in the world, and if you don't know why I'm so confident in that fact, I invite you to spend an afternoon on his YouTube channel, Da Real Vex. He has numerous major competition wins, including IGC and Boss, but his winning record isn't really what makes him the best. He defines musicality, embodies technical variety, and imbues emotion and enthusiasm into every show. This list is no less than six of his shows that are, in my opinion, the best of his work. But the reason that it's not one show or even five shows is because it was so damn difficult to narrow it down past these six. There are at least six more that I could have listed, but you really just have to go and watch this whole channel to understand. Anyway, like I said at the very beginning of the video, obviously anyone can use these songs, <laughs> subject to copyright, TMCA, all that stuff, for their own gloving if they want to. However, these YouTube links will be in the description and pinned comment, and once you make your way through them, you'll probably just not want to try it to outdo them. On the other hand, it can be a good exercise to try to emulate any impactful performance to that same song in order to learn the thought process behind the great performances. Or you can let these sounds be retired like the jersey numbers of Hall of Fame athletes. The choice is yours. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. Thanks for your endless support. 
Things like using Just3M at Amazing Lights, which gets you 10% off, and purchasing merch and lessons on YouGotMoves.com both go a long way to keep us ancient glovers act. Of course, lastly, I want to thank everyone who has already purchased their copy of my book, Mastering the Art of Gloving. The first edition run is almost sold out, so get yours at the link in the description. Happy gloving, finger freaks, and remember, it's better to be weird than boring.